UConn and Iowa and are in her final season. Caitlin Clark looking to get back to the national championship game, but that woman, Paige Beckers, and the Huskies standing in her way. UConn playing suffocating D from the start. Check out Nika Mule picking up part from full court. Clark had just two first quarter points, her fewest in any quarter of a tournament in her career. Second quarter now, I was down seven. Clark has her pass stolen by the Canadian, Aliyah Edwards, and an easy lay-in at the other end. Clark had just six points in the first half. She was 0 for 6 from three. UConn up six at the break. To the second half we go. Iowa down five. Clark maneuvers through the D and then uses a screen to drill the three ball. That's her first deep ball of the game. Hawkeyes though within two later in the quarter. Clark works herself free. And she bangs home the triple plus the foul. Four point play for Clark. She was in some pain after that one, but she would stay in the game. This one all tied up as we go to the fourth quarter. Here we go, fourth quarter. Iowa now up by two. Clark showing off the handles. Steps back for three. The Hawkeyes trailed by as many as 12. They are now up five. Next Iowa possession. Clark creates some space. And she drills the J. She's up over 20 points for the 48th straight game. There's her dad and her family then later in the quarter. Shows off the defense. Gets the steal. Takes it the other way. And finds Hannah Stolke for the and one. And then it got nuts. Less than a minute to play. UConn are down four. Mika Mule for three. And she hits. Iowa down to a one point lead. UConn know they're still in this. They have got life until this. Aliyah Edwards gets called for the illegal screen on Gabby Marshall. Gene Oriama cannot believe it. Are you kidding me? You're calling that at the end of this game? And that would be the difference as Iowa Go on to win this game. Clayton Clark, Clark seals the deal with the free throw, and Iowa win at 71 69. The final, Caitlin with 21 points, nine rebounds, seven assists, her lowest scoring game of the tournament. As I mentioned, it was all about the role players, the supporting players, and Hannah Stolke, 23 points, three, three rebounds. She had an excellent game. Aliyah Edwards, I mean, except for that gap at the end, which was obviously going to be a controversial moment in this game getting called for the illegal screen. They wouldn't have been there without Edwards, who had 17 points, eight rebounds, and three assists. But we have got the final we were hoping for. It will be Iowa and South Carolina, the number one seed versus the number two seed. Iowa making their second appearance in the national championship game. They lost last year to LSU. 